and welcome to the Crooked Man vs. Mooks. Usually I don't do horrors, but... I've played through it once, and it's not really all that scary. But, um, hmm. Well, I don't want to say anything much about it, so let's just start. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those with poor horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. Hopefully you guys will be okay. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse and they all lived together in a crooked little house <laughs> Ooh, finally things look tidy in here that should be that is there anything else we can help with David please ignore any yelling you may hear in the background Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. <sighs> Do I go? Okay. Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Question mark? You hear someone. What's with this- with- fuck. What's with that place, seriously? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, alright? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. I'd better get to bed. Alright. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Surely? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Alright, let's get to bed. Man, I'm tired. Oh man, now he's got me yawning. Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Aw, oh, man, you can't hear it. It's too soft. Can you? Give me a tick. Alright, you should be able to hear it better now. Ugh, really? Is that someone crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. Are you trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. S sorry for waking you. Bye now. 
She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. I feel like that's really too loud. I hope that works. Yikes, the water! Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Under the bed. Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Should we check under the bed? Let's go ahead and check under the bed. Maybe in the morning, though. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Hmm? Found something. I got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? No, oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. I'm crying again. That sound still? Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. You guys even hear it? Oh. The sound goes from loud to soft, I guess. Let's go get the phone. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the. No, no, I didn't mean. Just, I'm busy with work, so. Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept in till noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Oh, Paul. Paul? What is it? Y yeah, um... I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah. This. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks. So you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? S sorry I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> Mom, it's been a while. How are you? Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better... We can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Win Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who, who are you? Say something, will you? Mom. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! 
Somebody, somebody! There's a strange man in my room. Get him rid of him now. I wish I could be louder. Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Exclamation points. M Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. B but she said my... I said leave. <laughs> Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. Sed sedatives, sure. <sighs> Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. Though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Oh, God. Did this move? What moved? How many closings? An old computer. Empty trash can. In here? Ugh, can't remember. Nope. Any clothes? Oh, here. Did I move that chair? Hmm? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Mm, these LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this me guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Ah, oh, boy. Phone again. Hello? Hey, David, how are you doing? <laughs> you saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you ever... Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see you. Thoughts. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. That's a lot of books. Is it the TV? Well, why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink, it said. Gah! What? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? A wash bin. But wash basin. No reason to go out. Ah, oh, yeah, this sink. Hmm? There's a scrap of paper under here. Ugh. 
Well, there was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't this a Mother Goose rhyme? Why is it here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... I really hope this is recorded. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Exclamation point! What is that? In here? No? Oh, just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. W wait, what? Help me. The coffee says, you gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Uh, hi, Paul? It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. Well, I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. Oops. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Large crack in the wall. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, since this is my second time playing through, there'll be extra stuff. It said so at the, um, last... When I finished... Yeah. Crack in the wall. Crack in the wall. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something. You see, about the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I can't just, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. N no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. Let's go, let's go, let's go back to our room. Oh boy. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? I got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. That the guy's voice, the kid's voice, the mirror writing, the TV turn on, the coffee. <laughs> it 
it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me, either. That's depressing, but I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Oh, that was my iPod. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Excuse me as I check my email real quick. <laughs> what? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Aha! It came from in here. Radio? What's. Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Hello, poltergeist. Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Guess I'll go back to sleep. Oh my god! Oh my god, that scared me. I'm waiting for you. I'm... I'm waiting for you? Wait, why did... How? And when did it... Wag. Man, I wish I could scream, but I live in apartments now. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But, hey, did something happen? Did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlywed's love nest. Hey, what are you? <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. <laughs> I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Or your own personal monster. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Won't be able to get it. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Speaking of food, I'm hungry. No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Prologue. David's Room. End.